back to the YouTube channel and I want to tell y'all go subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, and comment. Before we get in this video and y'all find out how the Outcast Club got started, there's something I want y'all to do first. I want you to go follow this person right here on Twitter. Yes, follow this person right here, Morgan McCarthy on Twitter. Follow it. Morgan McCarthy on Twitter. Yes, follow Morgan McCarthy on Twitter. And then also, hit her up on Instagram. Hit her up on Instagram. Make sure you follow her. Give her some love, y'all, and follow her. But now, also, this video is brought to you by SmartPost app. Right there. Follow them on Twitter and on Instagram. Make sure you do that, which is very cool. Now, I'm bringing the camera back over here. Hope they profile pictures were in in the screen. I wasn't able to see the screen because I had to turn the whole camera around. All right, so now we're going to get into the awesome stuff of why this video is being made. Well, the premiere is happening because all this week we're doing uploads, so that's just pretty neat. And yeah, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, and comment. All right, so we're going to get into this. We're going to talk about how me and James Devin met. How the Outcast Club got started, his disabilities, my disabilities. Okay, we're going to get into all of that. All right. So, let's go. Let's get in this. Let's take you on the journey. Jump in my back pocket now, and let's go. Oh, uh, all right. So, James Durbin, uh, he's now 30 years old. He's now in Nashville, Tennessee. He used to live in Santa Cruz, California. Um, he has Tourette syndrome, Asperger syndrome. He was diagnosed at with this at the age of nine. At the same time, his dad passed away due to an overdose of drugs. His dad was a musician. He didn't get to know his dad that much. And when his dad died, it just became just him, his two sisters, and his mom. And he used to get bullied, beat up, and whatnot at school. Well, um, one day he decided in his teenage years the medication that he was on to keep him normal during his Tourette syndrome and all that. He decided not to take it anymore because he didn't want the medication basically controlling his life. He really wanted to be actually who he was made to be, which is great. Well, it's time to get to the backbone of my history, and I'm going to start with that, like, right now, right now, okay? So, uh, when I was first born, I did not see at first. Uh, my eyes were, like, closed. They thought I was going to be, like, they thought I was going to be blind, and then sooner or later, my eyes did open. Um, but I would not have good vision, Okay? I would not have good vision, and um, yeah, would not have good vision. That's much there. And then at three months old, I had open heart surgery, and then later on in my life, uh, I don't know exactly what grade I was in. I don't think it was like in the first grade. I don't know, honestly, but uh. I had leg problems. I had to wear braces for an entire year of school. Well, and yeah, and so I wore braces, and I would get like really picked on and stuff because the whole visual impairment thing. And one day I was start watching American Idol. I would have watched it a couple of seasons, but it came 2011, season 10, when it was on Fox, watching it. And then that's when I met James Durbin. 
uh, watched it, and I kind of learned from him, even though with disability, you can still be the person who you want it to be, and at the same time that I was watching him on American Idol, well, I was even bullied and threatened by a substitute teacher, and everyone was on my side willing to help show what he did and what he did was wrong. But as soon as the word came out that he wasn't allowed to come back and sub at the school anymore, um, everyone started hating me like it was my fault that I made him lose his job, which I didn't. And because of privacy reasons, I'm not gonna give out the name of that school or the school that I moved to after that situation and, and I'm not going to give out his name for respect for him even though he had no respect to me. He really like, you know, not going to get in the whole thing with that but since he had no respect for me, uh, I'm still going to show respect for him and not release his name, hey, but um, probably a lot of y'all that follow this channel know who he is, um, know who I am. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, pretty much everyone, like I said, wanted to blame was me that got him fired, but really it was his actions, and at the same time, like I said, I was watching James on American Idol, and I really wanted to follow him on social media, couldn't, because the guy was not on social media, well, in 2017, I figured I tried again, it was a Tuesday night, and... I start looking on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for his social media, and I come across his Facebook page. So I take a shot and I message it. For real, I shoot him a message and I literally say this to him. My story, uh, how I follow them and stuff ever since American Idol, all that stuff. And literally two days later, that same week on a Thursday night, I get a message back and I think... Okay, is it actually him or somebody that works for him? And I kind of start thinking that before I read the message and I read it and then I just like, okay, I got a message this back, like whoever, whoever this is, I ask, is this James Durbin or is this somebody else? That's messaging for him. Literally. Like, not even a minute later, not even a second later, okay? I get a message back, and it says it is him. No kidding. I still, at that point, I couldn't believe I was talking to actually him. And if you was like a third-party person, and you just jumped in on that conversation, or if you were just looking over his shoulder or my shoulder, you would have thought that we knew each other for a long time and we haven't seen each other in like 10 or 15 years and the power of Facebook would have brought us together. Not kidding. Literally. Not kidding, everyone. Um, yeah, so that's pretty neat. I got to talk to him. We was talking back and forth. Every other day, he wanted to meet me, and he said that he just joined Quiet Riot at the, at the time, which is 80 band, heavy metal band. Uh, and he was coming to North Carolina for a show in Lincoln Tent, and that was on June 2nd, 2017. That was my first Quiet Riot show. Um, so, yeah, and then jumping a little ahead, but we kind of was talking, and I, I kind of thought... How can I give back to people? I really want to give back to people, teach people they can be yourself and be who they want to be. And a lot of people kind of criticize the name The Outcast Club because they think we're outcasts, but really we're not. Well, actually, I take it back kind of the way we are because if you look at us, we all have a disability. But then also I want to reach the people that don't have a disability too and tell them that they can still follow their dreams. But also one of the main focus is the rich people that do have a disability, they, um, they can still follow their dreams. Because if you look, the people are very impaired, they might not be able to drive. They might not be able to do things that a lot of other people can do, which is very not right. So I kind of put together the team after learning and talking to Durbin and... 
uh, kind of put together a team and my team everything is the same everyone's the same people except for one person uh, I had a different assistant administrator at the time uh, his name was Aaron and things didn't work out he wanted to do his own little thing on the page didn't really like that so I kind of had to cut and go and then I got our new assistant administrator that joined us in August of that year but the Outcast Club opened up on May 13th, 2017, and um, uh, I kind of was thinking at the time, on the day to open it, I, do I open it or do I just cancel the whole thing? Well, I decided to go through it, even though I might get some negative feedback, but that's okay, because you have to start small and grow big, and that's kind of what I did, and and. Literally, I really want everyone to know this one thing that's kind of like huge. Don't give up, follow your dreams, work harder, and then you'll be able to succeed, like, succeed with your dreams. Like, 100%. Hopefully, you'll be able to get to your goal. Oh, but uh, yeah. Uh, Aaron was with us from May 13th to, I want to say, beginning of August of that year. And then things just kind of got too far, and I had to let him go. Sorry. Um, I know a lot of people have been there from the beginning. They kind of hate to see him go, but he had to go, you know. He wasn't fitting the criteria of the Outcast Club. He wasn't, but um, me and Aaron are still friends. We still talk, uh, but I kind of learned at the same time, don't mix friendship with business. Don't. It's not a great idea. It's not the best thing you can do, but honestly, I'm willing to, how do I say this in a way, I won't catch people off guard. I'm trying to, Think, um, so yeah, as I'm, I am not working that in there, okay, but, uh, the Outcast Club is coming for our second anniversary, May 13th, 2019, and, as I kind of listen to me telling this story, it's kind of like, I'm still surprised how far we went, and I'm still surprised that I actually got to meet Durbin and I actually seen him twice that year. I seen him in Lincolnton, North Carolina in June, and I seen him late, like a couple months later in September of that year in Bloomington, North Carolina. Uh, it was pretty neat. It was like amazing to be able to meet him. Um, so yeah, if y'all want to go follow him on Twitter, you can follow him um, at Durbin Rock on Twitter, and then also you can follow him on Instagram at James Durbin Official, or you can look up James Durbin on Facebook, like and follow him there, and then also like and follow our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Outcast Club too, and then also don't worry, don't forget about Smart Post app, guys, download the app, check them out, schedule your post for Twitter and Facebook. Pretty soon they might have Instagram coming. Um, yeah, so go follow them. It's March underscore post underscore app on Twitter and Instagram. And then just like and follow them on Facebook uh, by looking up Smart Post app. And then also don't forget, follow Morgan McCarthy uh, on Twitter and Instagram, as y'all saw earlier. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this premiere. I work hard on all our videos, the content and stuff. I also have people that work hard on them as well. So thank you to everyone that was here to watch today. Hey, and hope to see you later this week. There the rest of the premieres are happening. Um, if you want to find out more about the Outcast Club, find out more about the journey and stuff. Everything will be available in the description below, okay? For real.
thank y'all so much for watching. It was great being able to see and talk to y'all today. And during this live premiere, I am literally chatting below. If y'all probably noticed that already during the premiere, I am chatting below with everyone. So thank you for being here and hope to see y'all later. And don't forget to follow us on social media, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, like this video, and comment below. And thank you for watching, and have a nice day.